and New York Post columnist Miranda Devine. Thank you both so much for joining us. Okay, first to you, May. Here's the thing. We got the Iowa GOP caucus just a week away. We have this big fight gearing up now to remove Trump from the ballot in states like Colorado. That fight is now at the Supreme Court. May, what do you think of this? State attorneys general for more than half the nation, 27 states, warning the Supreme Court this push to remove Trump is illegal, unconstitutional, will trigger chaos if he is removed from state ballots. Where do you think this goes? Yeah, I think these states are right. So the states, and I bet we'll actually see another brief from these states, say a couple of things. One, they say it will be total chaos if all states are just on their own to interpret the 14th Amendment however they like. And two, it is very obvious that Congress was supposed to do something in order to give life to the 14th Amendment. And they raise a very good point. If Trump is an insurrectionist, and if anyone can declare that he was, then everything that he did after January 6th is automatically nullified. So, for example, everyone that he let uh, have a pardon, so that he let out of jail, those people need to go back in jail. I mean, it is just, it is unbelievable the amount of chaos that the left is advocating for, and these states very rightly point that out. So it may just said, and Miranda, we want your reaction to this. Let's listen and watch ABC's George Stephanopoulos push back and correct former Speaker Nancy Pelosi live on air after Nancy Pelosi botches a key fact about the Constitution. Again, Nancy Pelosi is accused of misleading the nation and pressuring the issue here with an, her incorrect read of what the Constitution says. Watch this. There is a view of the Constitution in Article 14, Section 3, that he should not be uh, able to run for president. But that's not the point. The point now is, um, that, again, different states have different laws. We don't think in California that it, it applied uh, in our state. Those laws, you know, those are up to the states. They have different laws from state to state. I don't think he should ever have it's been the Constitution. President. It's, is she saying the Constitution is not the point? Didn't she swear an oath to uphold the Constitution? <laughs> Article 5 says Congress can only pass a law that would do anything near this. Look, that's not the point, is exactly the way that Nancy Pelosi rolls. She doesn't care about the Constitution. She's just like Joe Biden in that all she cares about is power at any cost. And that's what you're seeing here. You're seeing this in all these uh, prosecutions of Donald Trump. You're seeing it in these various Democratic states and these uh, Biden activists who are posing as, uh, you know, attorney general in Maine or Colorado or wherever, um, trying to wipe him off the ballot. This is a coordinated operation by the Democratic Party using and weaponizing the justice system to eliminate one candidate off the ballot to eliminate Joe Biden's rivals because they know Joe Biden is 81, feeble, hopeless, and they know that they have to rig the system, and they're doing it in front of our eyes. They're not even hiding it. And they're using the excuse that Donald Trump is an existential threat to, quote, democracy. This is a Nancy Pelosi favorite lie, and it's a Joe Biden favorite lie. And um, I, I, look, it may work. Uh, we've now ha seen it. It's being thrown in the lap of the Supreme Court. Uh, you have dueling states. You have, you know, these states that are for Trump, and then you have another 30 some odd states that are trying to or thinking about wiping. Donald Trump off the ballot. In the end, it's the voter who's hurt. It's America that's hurt. And Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden are the ones with their party who are responsible for whipping up the rancor and division in this country. Yeah, what Miranda just said, May, by the way, the California Secretary of State already decided not to remove Trump and to keep Trump on the list of candidates certified to run in the California March primary. So Nancy Pelosi again misled there. So May and Miranda, I'm going to ask this of you too. When you see what's going on, are you worried that as they break norms, as they break traditions, as they bend the rules, they bend what the, uh, what, how we've run elections in the past, that, you know, this could be, you know, basically a, a broken system that they leave us with that can't be fixed. I'm talking about the future of America and how we run our, our elections. What do you think, May? I think it's 
extremely concerning because you've basically got a few options. One, Democrats can continue to operate like this and kick candidates they don't like off the ballot, and Republicans can just do nothing and sit there and say, wow, I'm really upset about that. Option number two, Republicans can do the same thing. That's that's bad, too, right? Because now you've got Republicans kicking people off the ballot, Democrats kicking people off the ballot. The only thing that works is for both sides to stop. Well, who's going to tell the Democrats to stop? I guess that's the Supreme Court. But the Democrats have been telling us that the Supreme Court is uh, rigged, that that people shouldn't be sitting on it because they're, uh, you know, they've got financial interests, that we shouldn't listen to the Supreme Court, we should pack the court. So there are no good options at this point because they started it. And so so it will take a concerted effort in order to rebuild our institutions, rebuild trust in government, and get America back on track. Yeah, what May just said, you know, Miranda, the Supreme Court, by the way, has accepted the Trump's team appeal of what Colorado is doing. It's going to reportedly rule in February. Super Tuesday is scheduled for March 5th when Colorado and more than a dozen states hold their primaries or caucuses. Are you worried that what's going on is they're, is they're bending and breaking the rules and just pushing things to the limit, that this, is, this could be permanent? We don't want to break the system that our founding fathers built. Look, I think the only way that happens is if the voters become disillusioned. And uh, I, I think that it's really up to every American to seize back their power, to go to the ballot box, to insist on voting for the candidate that they want to, and to make their displeasure known, and to also try and get the message across to all those independents and moderates who are very low information. Maybe they watch CNN and MSNBC, and they don't realise what the Democrats are doing is so awful, because the Democrats project. They pretend what they're doing is what Donald Trump is doing. Got it. May Mailman, Miranda Devine, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to see you both. Okay, 